Hello, listeners of the Interdimensional Clown Collective. It is your friends from the Great White North here to invoke the spirit of the late and great Wayne Gretzky. I am Count Canadastan with a boy genius Aiden Connors. Uh, as uh, brought hello. to you by multi-level management music in association with Metro Product, a business berry subsidiary. The ceremony may begin now. Close your eyes and feel the cold, brisk wind of the Canadian mountains slamming against your face. The first thing you need is a ceremonial song. Yeah, yeah, get him. <laughs> yeah, for Wayne. Then the clubbing of the beavers. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, get him. Yeah. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> yeah. As is tradition next, the honking of the geese. Yeah. Ceremonial repression of white guilt. Yes, that's right. Post those orange squares. You've done your part. Now, the repairing of the Zamboni! Now take two sips of your ceremonial maple syrup. And now all rise for your national anthem. No, not that national anthem. Stop. Okay, stop it. Okay, no. The no national anthem of the North. No, stop. Wait, norther. Okay, yeah, that's the one.
completed the ceremony. Sit with your eyes closed and manifest the spirit of a Nansky. Number 99 Number 99 Number 99 Number 99 He was number 99 Screw is a concept. See, I, I don't know if I want to even want to start this explanation. See, it would take you take weeks for me to explain. See, see the corkscrew is a concept. And it's, it's analogous to the concept of enlightenment. And, and, and on a more granular level, it's analogous to catharsis, both negative and positive. See, in this sense, it's, it's as complicated as these things. So negative catharsis, represented by the downward spiral. Of course, is uh, commonly thought of as the moment of first realization of a traumatic event. Think of the surprise sensation one feels like a split second before a car crash. You know, as you right, right before you get slammed through that windshield and die. I want to see your inside. I want to see your inside. I want to see your inside. I, I, I want to see your inside. I want to see your inside. I want to see your inside. Inside, I want to see your insides. I want to see them. Let me see them. Open up wide. Let me see your insides. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Which is it's self corkscrewing. No, That's the thing. You can't. You, you can't just reason your You can't right just now. reason Listen your way out of this. You are cave dwelling. You're literally like, oh, uh, to observe the thing is the thing. No, it's not. That's the whole point of the allegory. The cave. No. The thing isn't even no. there. No. Yes. No, 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 no. With all due respect, I think you're wrong about this. No, I'm. <laughs> Alright guys, uh, thanks for listening to our recording. Um Corkscrews must be a release of energy, followed by an upward or downward spiral motion in a one-to-one or one the ratio. The car crash, of course, represents a very productive downward spiral. See, the first one in the ratio is a, the dimension of energy, so to speak, usually expelled as a gas but a release of uh, sound or heat energy and or heat energy. Uh, the second one obviously representing the vertical component of the corkscrew motion and the third representing the horizontal motion. Completing the one to one to one ratio. Very important to have these three runs in a complete one to one to one ratio. Global number of instances of the up corkscrew positive catharsis must be kept in balance with the global number of in instances of the down corkscrew the negative catharsis. So one might be asking, well, then, isn't this kind of a valid, valid invalidation? You know, you have this trilectic of the one to one to one ratio, but you have this positive versus negative catharsis. Well, I have something for you. <laughs>
sense of these archetypes, so to speak, in the Jungian sense, we can consider this. They are immutable. They are born into you. You must be. There's certain people that are just certain ways. That's the way things are. Sorry. I'm sorry, kid. You gotta grow up. That's the way. See, there's this thing called the positive process. They must be, they must be in the balance with the negative catharsis. Now, the right? The upward and the downward, like I can call it, in balance. I need to get home and learn how to compute modular multiplicative inverses using Euclid's algorithm in order to create a taxonomy of binary necklaces. Process must be kept in balance in order oh God, to maintain the process oh of continued enlightenment. Guy. This is why we must guy. keep the key. And how do we keep the key? Well, we do this, right? In this way, the entire system of court field has been is now this system, right? Like you see, and it's a to maintain the process of the So, how do we do this? Well, we must look to very, very, very good. Thanks for listening to our recording. But with all due respect, I think you're wrong about this. No, I don't know. I don't like that. Squirt! Power. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no. Everybody, yes. Yes, 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 yes. When you do this, it's good. Yes, when you do this, it's good. Yes, when you do this, it's good. Yes, 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 there's very important special people, they're very special, and they're called the keepers and the ratio. In order to balance the up and the down through, see, these are very young in archetypes. You must understand this, you must understand this, they're, you must understand this, they're not every young, you must understand this. See, the thing is, is that not only that the keeper are beings of neutrality, but importantly, not the passive reactionary neutrality. Of something like a pacifist. But no, 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 I'm talking about the act of neutrality. Oh, peacekeeper. No, no, no. No, no, no.
my favorite part about dreaming and being asleep is the amnesia. I really, really love forgetting everything. That's like the best thing I can do to me. <laughs> but I know it's also my worst enemy because forgetting means losing context, which means losing insight, which means not being able to critically think and navigate things properly, but it's way more comfortable to be just an amnesiac. That's why I love dreams.